The demand for labor is the amount of labor that firms are looking to hire and is known as a derived demand, which is an indirect demand formed out of the need to produce goods and services. If demand for a firm's product increases, the firm will demand more labor in order to sell the additional output. In general, demand curves represent the relationship between the price and the quantity demanded of an item. The demand curve for labor is no different from the demand curve for a good, except that the price of labor is referred to as a wage. Thus, labor demand is drawn with the quantity of labor on the horizontal axis and the wage on the vertical axis, and can be constructed at the individual level or the market level. To determine the number of workers a firm wants to hire, firms select the quantity of labor that is profit maximizing. In perfectly competitive labor markets, firms want to hire labor up to the point where the marginal revenue product of labor is equal to the wage paid to that unit of labor. In competitive markets, firms can hire as many workers as they want at the market wage, assuming labor is the only variable cost of production. The hiring decision is essentially measuring how much revenue labor produces versus the cost of adding labor. Because diminishing marginal product of labor is generally present, but the wage is constant for competitive labor markets, the quantity of labor where the marginal revenue product of labor is equal to the wage is the point that maximizes profit. In the table, we can see the corresponding revenue that each additional worker generates. The first worker generates $28 of revenue, while the second worker only adds $20, and so on. If wages were $20, the firm will hire two units of labor. If wages fall enough, the firm will want to hire more workers. Labor demand curves show the value of the marginal product of labor as a function of the quantity of labor hired, meaning the labor demand curve is quantitatively the same as the marginal revenue product of labor curve. Changes in the price of and demand for a firm's final output will shift the demand curve for labor. If the demand for a firm's output increases, the output price increases, and the firm can increase revenue if it sells more output. In order to sell more, it must first hire more labor to produce and sell the additional output. With rising output prices or an increase in the demand for the firm's output, more labor is demanded at each wage. This is shown graphically as a shift in the labor demand curve to the right. Technology improvements may also shift the demand curve if they result in more productive workers, which increases the marginal product of labor. Improvements in the marginal product of labor in turn affects marginal revenue product because marginal revenue product is the marginal product of a worker multiplied by the marginal revenue associated with those units the worker produced. Marginal revenue product can be calculated as marginal revenue times marginal product of labor. The improvement in marginal revenue product at every wage is represented graphically as an increase in the demand for labor at every wage, or a shift in the demand curve for labor to the right.